And tonight, many San Diegans who once called Iraq home are relieved the United States is stepping in to help. Many still have family there in Iraq and have watched the situation deteriorate, feeling helpless. Nancy Aziz spoke with one local woman who lost family to the militant group. Nancy. That's right. She lost a beloved brother and pregnant niece to ISIS and says every time she speaks with loved ones still in Iraq, she's gripped by fear that she'll learn another relative has been killed in the violence. The analogy I have for them is animals with guns, so they have no feeling. Reina, who doesn't want her last name used, is talking about the horrors the militant group ISIS is raining on Iraq. It's something the San Diegan saw firsthand when she went to Iraq last month. And it doesn't matter your religion, your ethnicity, where you're from, they're just killing everybody. She was born in Iraq, still has family there, and as a worker for an aid organization in this country, she said despite the danger, she knew she had to try to help. She shot a bit of video there, always careful no one was watching. I'm an American citizen. I was so scared that they'll find out that uh, where I come from and I'll die. She says she found the streets of Mosul deserted, people hiding in their homes, no electricity, no food, but worse, she learned one of her brothers and pregnant niece had been killed by ISIS. They were at home as any other family and they just got shot. They were not the only ones. Reina says she came home after realizing there was no way she alone could help. She says she's encouraged the U.S. is finally stepping in, but says it's far too late for some. She's learned from relatives still there. Minority Yazidis trapped on top of Mount Sinjar have started throwing their own children off the mountain, a last desperate measure to save them from the group that's been known to behead children. They don't want to see any, any other person killing them. They're killing them themselves. And Reina says the strikes and aid are good first steps, but more needs to be done. She isn't just worried about what ISIS is doing in Iraq right now, but what it could potentially do here, sending extremists to carry on its brand of terrorism in this country. Live in the newsroom, Nancy Aziz, San Diego 6 News.